are also called as social animals. But from where does that word social comes from? It actually signifies the dependencies and connections that we have with other human beings. And these connections are what makes us human. There have been enormous efforts to enhance these connections in the form of various social networking websites. But as a result, we now know what's happening with a person sitting miles away from here, but we don't even know the name of the boy living next to us. Well, these people in our neighborhood make up the world we live in. And we still remain unconnected with this real world. Third Eye device tries to solve this problem at its grassroots level. So what's Third Eye? As it was proposed, it's a wearable goggle with transparent screens and a personal identification algorithm running on it. Just imagine that you are wearing the third eye goggles. Then this is what you will see. Hey Sumit, how are you? Okay, carry on. So what actually happens here is that Whenever the device encounters a person in front, it executes its personal identification algorithm and returns the details that it finds on various social networking websites, which are further displayed on the transparent screens. It hence will help us to connect with each other and hence will make us more human. The various Texas Instruments components that will be used in the final product are Beagle Bone Black. It runs a 1 GHz AM335X Cortex A8 processor and a 512 MB of RAM. PCM1680. It's an 8 channel audio DAC. TPA152. It's an audio preamplifier. The other components that will be used in the final product are Hack SD camera module. It's a 9 megapixel image sensor. Transparent OLED screens. These are new technology and use organic light emitting diodes to produce the screening effect. The 3G networking module to connect to the internet. The earphones to listen to the audio. The working of the product. A person in front is sensed by the image sensors, that is the camera. The camera transfers this information to Beagle Bone Black which processes and extracts useful information from the image. This information is further sent to the 3G module that in turn sends it to the online third party servers for further processing. The response of the third party servers after being processed by the Beagle Bone Black is sent to the screens and earphones for the output. Since the device is now in its development stage, we are going to provide some initial commands externally through the lab. So I am going to switch on the circuits and connect this laptop to the Beagle Bone Black. Can, and you can see here the LEDs start blinking. Since the Beagle Bone Black is directly connected to the LCD through the HDMI port, you can see the boot up process. And here on the laptop side, I am going to connect it to the Beagle Bone Black. So the system is now ready. It's connected to the Beagle Bone Black. To show you how the algorithm works, I am going to call one of my friends to stand up in front of the camera and here I will execute the algorithm. I am giving some initial commands to start the algorithm. Each of the messages being displayed here is actually given out by the Beagle Bone Black. Each message signifies the steps that it takes and the input that it takes is shown up here in the screen. The message here shows the person is Nikhil Purshwani. That means the person is identified and he indeed is Nikhil Purshwani. 
and his Facebook ID is actually shown up here on the screen. This is automatically done by the Beagle Boom Black through the references that it gets online. To check is it real ID or not, we actually go online through this laptop to see his ID. BeagleBone Black is connected to an ID named ZHuge and here we can see that in the ID ZHuge an image was added which was just now which is named tagged as just now. By the time we will search for Nikhil Koshwani and check his ID. And here is ID. It's exactly as is seen on the Beagle Bone Black. So to check is it at the real time, we'll again go to the m.facebook.com and here it's the image that have been just loaded one minute earlier. So it was all at real time 